so there she is in her black glory my sportster iron with its uh, staggered short shots and stage one and of course the tank so anyway i have taken off the badge and i'm going to put on a colored one i'm not sure what color possibly purple possibly red depends on what type of shocks i get i wasn't quite happy with the black logo it was too subtle so um so that's coming next anyway today i need to sort out my fuel pack my my tuning um i was watching some youtube videos and i did it, i did part of it correctly but i didn't do all of it so you're supposed to do like um, a number of sessions um, i needed more green and i needed to do it more times and i needed to do a apply um, a number of different times before I finalized so the last time I just did it once and finalized it so it probably is not um, good enough um, so I need to do a few more ranges um, it's interesting to see how it feels um, it was pretty good. There was a little hesitation in one or two places, but very, very slight. So I was quite good. I was quite happy. Um, but I think I can do better. So today is about trying to get the fuel pack um, even more tuned. The other thing that I've done is I've put the new battery in. Um, took me a while to find one on a Sunday, but eventually I did find one. So we'll see how that goes. I've just left it on the charge for a little while. It's not fully charged yet, but it should start, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. And then we'll start this puppy. But maybe we'll start this fuel, this puppy first. Turn it on. Eleven hundred and seventy-three k's now. Okay, it's found it. Checking for firmware. It's all good. So, auto tune. Here comes this kid riding his scrambler. Reading tables in time. Auto tune setup complete. Are you sure? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Battery didn't fire up as quickly as I'd hoped it would, but it wasn't fully charged, so let's go. I would not normally ride the bike uh, cold, but I'll go slowly. Yeah, it feels rough again. Yeah, feel that. Running like crap. <laughs> Go real easy. Woo. Lots of backfiring occurring. <laughs> so this thing should start to do its colours. getting there. It's hard to get the bike into places that you want it to go. <laughs> Just a bit of experimentation. Especially when there's cars in front of you, it's difficult to um, actually stay at the right speed in a certain combination of throttle and, uh, and RPM of course. Okay. There you go. 
there you go. See, with a bit of work you can figure it out. So, slightly more RPM and then ease back on the throttle cable. Slightly back. More. There you go. We're here at the petrol station. I will uh, pre, I will apply the changes here, and then I will fill up, and then we'll have a second session going home. This side. Yep, they've got 90 A's, good. Okay, so I'll stop here. Alright, now before I shut down, let's apply. Apply values. Unable to flash, engine is running, okay. Put it back on, wait for it to connect again. Come on, connect. There we go, connect it. Now I can say apply values. Apply. Applying new learned data. Continue. Flashing new learned data. Okay. I can work with that. Please turn your bike off. Okay, I think um, I'll fill up. Okay, so that was all done. Um, I guess I just continue riding now. That's all, I presume. Let's see. All right, let's go home. Okay, so that engine light is back on permanently. I am assuming it's uh, complaining about richness or something. I'm assuming that that is actually a side effect of the tuning process. I don't know. this map out again. Okay, looking good. Okay, I don't like this person. What are they doing?
my second session. I'm just going to put it into, I don't think I can do anything. I think I have to turn off. Let's see. Preview. Applying new. Okay. Applying learn data, even with it on. I didn't know you could do that. Ah, okay. So that's interesting. So there was less fuel over there. It's pretty green all over, hey? I'm actually pretty happy with that. Apply learned values. Unable to flash. Turn off. Turn on. Continue. And now I can apply learned values. Yeah, it's pretty green. It's pretty green. That's what I wanted. Apply. Continue. I now want to go for another ride after it's being tuned just to see how it feels. I wonder if I should um, finalize it. It's quite a lot of green there. Quite a lot of green. Turn your bike on. Okay. So if I now go apply values, I can say finish. Applying your new learned data. And then we'll go for a spin. Okay, so I just want to see what the codes were that came up. Come, okay, maintenance. Read trouble codes. Engine running rich in the front, and then all the rest of it is just lost communication. So that engine running rich is interesting. Anyway, I ran auto tune. I clear the trouble codes. Okay, no codes present. And uh, now we can quit this. I might just view sensor data while I'm riding. Be interesting. Continue. Okay. It's RPM. Not sure why we get so many RPMs. Okay, let's do this. Am I recording? Yes. Okay, so we're just going to go a bit of a two tour to Maraita and see how the bike feels after two sessions. Not a very good start. Splutter. But they say um, it does improve after three or four hours or three or four tanks of fuel. The internal ECU tuner it starts to adjust things to get them a bit better. So I might have to do that, or I might have to wait for that. I'm in eco mode, that's good to know. Doing 50. I remember um, after my last tune, it, uh, it felt a bit rough at the bottom, but then on the second and third ride, I, I didn't notice it at all. So I think it really does get better and better. But man, I love it. What's nice about this is I can watch my uh, fuel, but I can see my RPM in a nice big, uh, big display. I'd like it. turn sideways. Just love it when my phone does that. Only thing is I don't know what gear I'm in. So I think I'm in fourth now. Uh, no way to tell. I'm not sure what that 10, 11, 13, don't know what that means. Yep, I'm in fourth and I shouldn't be. Third is better.
while I'm riding my son is jumping out of an aeroplane both of them two of them not not Liam so not all three of them but at least two of them are busy jumping out of aeroplanes and doing skydiving so yeah I would say that uh, statistically speaking I'm doing the most dangerous thing in the family right now but I will feel happy to hear that they're safely on the ground that's for sure position here it's not feeling good 2300 so I think that that's the one spot that might have been orange would be quite typical eh? but I'm, I'm happy just to ride it for a few hours and see how itself levels out now it's all good well I'm satisfied I'm satisfied with the job well done it seems to be idling fine just seems to be fine in general. There was a one little hesitation spot, but I think it'll iron itself out after a few hours. I don't feel like doing the whole tuning process again. Okay, well, the battery started the bike every time, um, but it didn't sound much better than the old one. Uh, so I'm going to let it fully charge, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up and see what the voltage looks like before and after a start. Then I'll put the other battery back in and do the same, just to get a sense of uh, how how good the other battery is versus this one. This one's supposed to be a, it's only a 220. Um, where the other one was 225 but they've got this little disclaimer tested at 400 yeah we shall see 